in this video clip I'm going to take a look at a 1996 paper from uh, Lyson and Reimer and I'm going to provide a snippet of code that executes um, the valuation of an American and European option in a lattice type framework. Um, the formula that we'll use here are based on the paper paper provided here. So Lyson Reimer follows in line pretty much with Cox Ross Rubenstein, except the estimate of U and D, the U and D increment is different and the tree doesn't recombine. Okay, so um let's just go to the code and I'll provide a link to this code in the in a hyperlink underneath. Now the code is based partially on Espen Hogue, uh, who uses dynamic memory in setting out um, the lattice framework. So in Espen's book, take a look at Espen's book. So uh, Espen's book, Option Pricing Formulas, the complete guide to option price formulas, and I think it's in chapter seven, uh, the lattice tree uh, type structure. Now I follow uh, closely uh, Espen's implementation in terms of dynamic memory. Where I differ here is I try to improve a little bit the estimation speed and just general efficiency of the tree by truncating um, the zero region. So basically in terms of VBA code here this is a standard VBA implementation of Lyson Reimer except I truncate the zero region and I'll put a link to where I, I explained that in um, some C++ code that I explained previously. Um, so let's just copy this in for a moment. So I'll copy and it's not a terribly long piece of um, code so we just copy and then we go into a spreadsheet so I've opened up a spreadsheet here and this is in Apple environment. So I'm using a Mac Pro here, developer, uh, Visual Basic, and I need to insert um, a module. So I include in a module and no specific name here, but I just can paste and the code goes in and I'll just take a look at that code to see has it formatted correctly and looks as if the formatting of the code is fine so no issues in terms of um, punctuation missing uh, so on so looks okay and again this is a uh, license rhymer okay so we come out of here and um, I'll go back into the spreadsheet now I'll, I'll save the file so file save as and I'll just save onto um anywhere really desktop I suppose desktop and um the most important thing is when we're saving that we include uh the macro enable Excel macro enabled workbook. Otherwise, we tend to lose the code afterwards. So we just change the form terms it's saved and um, we give it a name, Lyson Rhymer. Lyson Rhymer. Um, and again, the zero region is going to be truncated here. Truncated zeros. So basically, Lyson Rhymer, all the usual speed associated with Lyson Rhymer and an improvement in terms of truncating further the zeros okay so um let's just copy go back into the developer for a moment and take a look at that code again okay so we have our code and we'll just copy where we've written the function so the i've called this function license rhymer and then t-r-u-n-c for truncate T R U N C for truncate. Okay, and so let's copy the function. And the function name is Lyson Rhymer truncate. And we'll just tidy that up a little bit. Copy 
and I'll go back into uh, the spreadsheet and we'll just paste the function here okay so what we have is truncate so I'll rewrite this and I'll format a little bit better okay so I basically have taken this uh, license rhymer function that we uh, copied in from Word document and I've just formatted it again and the order of the variable variables will appear consistent here so when setting out the estimation here I've got to determine I've got to set out the variables uh, to run the function uh, smoothly and um, that the variables here will appear in order of the variables given in the function okay so I'll pause again and set that up so what I will do here is I'll go back into the license rhyme original paper uh, go down to where uh, some worked estimations were performed in the paper um, so the license rhyme function um, was used to estimate um, uh, both American and European options. Okay, so okay, so I, I'll just go into Adobe here for one second to take a snapshot. Take a snapshot of uh, license rhyme or estimation. So this PP1 and PP2 are both license rhyme or uh, estimates, depending on which specification is used. And then the parameter values are S is equal to 100, R is equal to 7%, sigma the volatility 30, T is equal to 6 months and n25 steps okay so we go back into our spreadsheet for a moment here and we can paste that to one side and I just paste and I might just reduce the size of that so um, okay so we can say look uh, it's an American option it's going to be a call uh, starting out or maybe a put um, let's go with put because it's American and then we have a stock price of 100 and the exercise i'll take an exercise for the american option an exercise of 100 as well the risk r here is and that should have been t right so t consistent with this so it's six months so zero five okay 0 0.5 years and we have a risk-free rate of um seven percent so 0 0.07 and the b here is the equivalent of r negative q r negative q so the it's equivalent to cost of carry in this instance the risk-free rate r negative the dividend yield so if q is equal to zero then b must be equal to zero as well so if we're going with no dividend yield then b here by default is seven percent same as risk free rate volatility is equal to 30 0 0.3 and then n here is given as 25 so let's take the slice and rhyme function we'll copy i'll paste and again um, we'll just put an equal sign in front here equal and we for the American whether it's an American call or put so it's American is it a call or a put it's going to be a put we're going to have to take a value of s as 100 we're going to take the value of x as also being 100 the time period is equal to six months the risk free rate is equal to seven percent so we just highlight highlight this r we map in at seven percent b also the cost of carry is going to be given as seven percent the volatility here we're going to take as 30 percent and then n is equal to 25 okay and we get a value here of 7.02857 which corresponds with the value we have here in this column so for these parameter values 
of s equal to 100 r equal to 7 percent sigma 0.3 t equal to 6 months n equal to 25 the value that we get that corresponds here is for the Lysenreimer binomial estimate is 7.0285 and we can just increase that so 7.0285 and 77 so on it goes so the so what can we do here then with this um estimate uh, where uh, we have a value for an American pot with these parameters we can change to uh, C here for get the value of a call and because there's no dividend uh, value here then the value of the American call and European call should be the same so if we we have a value here of 1013 for the American call same parameters but if I change here to E to denote a uh, European call then that that 13 10 13 won't change okay so there's no change simply because not optimal to exercise an American call option early if there's no dividend here okay so that's our that's a set of values that we have then just to run the estimation and we can verify the result here that 10 13 okay 10 13 3 1 6 2 7 and we can come over here for the same parameter values 10 13 3 1 6 okay so those values seem to be consistent with each other and this license rhymer vba code is consistent with the original paper so we just want to stress test now a little bit some of the features of the code so we could copy um the what we have here and uh, so i'll just copy and go into a new spreadsheet and we can set out again here um the function and again we recover the same values and we could have uh, let's set out two functions let's set out for european and american and we might want to consider a situation where there is a positive dividend um so if the if b were equal to zero it would mean q was equal to r so if we wanted to engineer uh, the, the dividend is equal to um seven percent then one rational way one simple straightforward way of doing that here is just saying this is equal to zero and in that instance we would anticipate that the european option right is its value is going to be different to the american so where the dividend is equal to uh, uh, seven percent here it is optimal to exercise early and the value of the american option is indeed uh, higher and um, also when we look at the estimation for the european option uh, this license rhymer tree if these values are correct then we should be able to uh, verify the European valuation by using Black Scholes. So, um, what I'll do is I'll go get a snippet of Black Scholes um, code, and then I'll estimate the uh, compare the value here against uh, Lysenreimer, and if Lysenreimer um, works uh, how we would expect it to work then the value here for the european specification should be the same as for black shoals so i'm going to get a little snippet of code just to verify and then what i plan to do is get that snippet of code from um carry back and carry back has um a very good textbook um just to give you a look at the textbook a course in the rift of securities and in that book right um that was published a few years back now there is um vba code explained and i'll download the vba code for here for black shoals